Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on. Bam. There we go. Apparently they dropped something called lenses, which, um, if you use them in a certain area in the game, you actually can get a monster to show up. So yes, but we're way too weak now to want giant monsters to show up, because trust me, we will find some giant monsters in this game. Jeez, a hundred arrows is just enough, huh? Huh? Come on. Oh, out of arrows. Gotta make some more then. Luckily we got enough wood, so it doesn't really matter. Come on. There we go. This is mostly cheap, but then again, you gotta get creative when you're playing these kinds of games. Though these small passages, I don't know if, I know slimes can get through them horizontally, but I don't know about vertically, so uh, you're not completely safe with a hole like this and always doing that. So I'd, I'd recommend if you're going to make like something under this under your home so you can uh, protect it better during like blood moons or you also get something called goblin attacks. More or less, I would recommend you always close it up when you're done with it or make sure that the area itself is closed. Like with no doors, just um, actually closing it with actual physical objects. Like dirt or stone or something. Man, this night's taking forever. Because I don't have much to do. I think I'm killing some monsters and getting a lot of stuff in its place. Seventeen gold, uh, silver coins. Nice. That's what I'm a talking about. I'm gonna use up all my wood by after this night's over. Luckily, the night's almost over, so uh, yes. I would not recommend going out and actually trying to fight these zombies uh, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Not at this level you're at right now. Or, you can't really level up, but wait till you get some better items. Or some better defense. Um, if you want to get more of your stuff back that's outside, here's actually a good trick. Because just being close to the items gets you to pick them up, funny enough. So, uh, see? I got that. Get my arrows back. And now, pretty much technically, it's daytime, so I can come out and actually go do this kind of stuff. And you know it's nighttime when the slimes start showing up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Didn't see him there. He blended in with the surroundings. Don't judge me! Alright then. Finding some interesting areas. Um, I think I'll stick to making my home up there. Come on. These blocks do not want to be mined, the bastards. You're the only... I'm the only reason you're here. You must obey me. Come on. Ha. Can't get me slimes. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Wait. Iron ore, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Sadly, we probably won't have enough to actually make anything out of them, but it's still pretty cool we found it. Iron ore um, divided by... Th uh, every three ore makes an iron bar. So that means we'll have three iron bars. That won't be enough to make anything, but still, it's better than nothing. Let's get a little bit more wood. That's what he said. <laughs> anyway. Ah! I did not see you there. How dare you hurt me. You must now pay with your life. Anyway, um... As much as I don't want to make a home right here... 
This might be one of the best areas, or maybe a little bit more this way. Yeah, I think this would be a great area to make a home. I mean, hell, it's one of the first, it's, it's actually where we spawn. Um, you cannot change your spawn point until you know how to make a bed. To make a bed, you need a lot of cobweb and a loom. With loom, with a loom, which is an item kind of like the workbench, it actually allows for you to change your, um, well, what it does is it allows for you to make silk out of cobweb, and then you can make, um, and I think you need the sawmill to make, which you need a little bit of iron and whatnot, to make, God, what's it called? To make the silk into a bed with a little bit more wood and whatnot. So, yes. And after you make the bed and you're in a certain area which is has the qual qualification set, you not, you then have a spawn point. After you set it down and right click on it. And it even says you, ha you have made a spawn point. So, yes. Anyway, I'm going to make it a pretty big home here, as you can see. Um, so, yes. First off, we're going to want to make most of this stuff over it to be... Um, what's it called? Yep, stone. Okay, cool. Didn't want to call it steel by accident. Alright, then. Actually, give me a second, guys. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to come right back. So, catch you guys in the next video. All right, we are back. I just wanted to make sure we don't get like any weird videos out of desync or anything. Wait, there we go. All right, cool. Wasn't making it for a second. I was like, what the hell? All right, I think we have enough time to build it like this. God, I don't even know how far this thing's gonna go. Um, And that was a bad idea, though luckily we didn't take any fall damage, so yes. Because that high I can't see. I'm going to actually try making it, um... See, I'm going to make the homes in this kind of an area. Anyway, I'm going to build it from over here. Nah, I don't worry about the grass just yet. I was going to mine some of the grass, but I don't need to worry about that just yet. Because I want to make sure there's no grass, so I can... Actually, I might actually just make the home from right here. So if I do, I don't know. Tough decision. Currently, I'll just build it from right here. Anyway, you gotta get rid of the grass so you can place the platforms down, by the way. Just thought I'd tell you that. Right then, keep going. Actually, I think we're ahead by one. No, I think this is right. Yep, it's right. Cool. And here's the outside of our home now. Yay! So it's going to take forever to fill this thing with a giant wall, but, uh, Hey, we got a home, so that's nice. Now... Should I make it from right here, or... Ooh, tough decision. We'll see how it works down here, and we can change it later just by putting something over it, so yes. Hopefully that'll work. I gotta get rid of all this. Just by hitting it once, you can get rid of the grass on top of it. Which, you can also do it when it's over like this. So it actually looks a lot better. If you're in for it, it looks. God damn it. I'll fix that later. Anyway. Damn it. Push it twice, all of a sudden it's a... Don't got any more, uh... Blocks at all. Anyway, but we can fix that real easily, because we have dirt! Yay! The thing about this place is we can make it bigger. 
as we progress in the game. So, if it needs to get bigger, we can make it bigger. No, the bunnies in here, damn it. You don't really like it when the bunnies get in here, because you can't kill the bunnies. And they don't go away until you re go out of the area, and they, uh, I guess you could say despawn. And this gel wants to get into my home. You don't belong in here, gel. There we go. Anyway, we can now... I'm gonna make one of these again. I could just go back and mine the other one, but I don't really care to do that right now. And then we will make... Where is it? A door. Enemies cannot go through doors unless on a bloody moon or goblin invasion. But that those don't happen very often. Come on. Isn't this three? Or, okay, there we go. Cool. Just right-click and there you go. It's obvious to tell when the door is open or not. So, yes. And this is the beginning of our harm. Very nice. I'll show you how to mine walls. This is a dirt wall, so we want to mine it like this. Um, they're kind of weird. One, they don't drop anything, unless you're, uh, mining something you've made, I think. But another thing is that, well, I don't know. When you actually place the walls, it's kind of weird. It's like, I can't tell if you have to place as many as they want you to place, or if you're not smart enough, you waste more uh, stone or m waste more walls than you had in the first place. So I'm very confused on that subject. So please excuse me if I seem like an idiot in some cases. So yes, I think this should be fine, really. Very big area, because if you don't know what I'm trying to do, what I'm going to do is like put like a a stone like over here and then down here and then make a little home over here, and then people will move in from the inside. So yes, which means that monsters can't get them from the outside, like in my other uh, Terraria world you saw in my SO. So that's very cool. Um, so yes, stone ore. What we want to make now, I think, would be a furnace. No, not like that, Michael. I should have learned you're not supposed to do that. I'm an idiot. I usually try placing like your workbenches and your whatnot next to each other. And now we can turn like three ore into an iron bar, three copper ore into a copper bar. Ta-da! Ta-da! Sadly, it sucks when you have ore left over, but what can you do? But, with this much iron, we can actually make a chest. You want to make a chest. No. I'm not being smart here. You can find chests throughout the game, so it might be better just to go find one first. But, I think it's smarter just to say, fuck it, make your own chest. Because that means you can place shit in here. Um, more or less, I'm playing on softcore, which means if I die, I, um, I just lose my money. So, really, it's only useful for putting money in, in this, but it's also helpful for organizing shit, so that's what I usually use it for. Clay blocks. Um, got enough of that shit. Dirt blocks. Actually, it's so awesome how you can make stuff, uh, see this acorn? It's easy. In Minecraft, it, you, it, it sucked trying to get rid of stuff. You had to have a lava pit to get rid of stuff. This, here's an acorn. I don't want this acorn. Have in the trash can. Though it doesn't get rid of it right away, put something over it, and it's gone. So yes. So it pretty much allows you to have another space, but if you get another item, it disappears. Um, I don't know if you're filled with items, it, it automatically... I think you only. I think you can only put it in the trash can. Just to make sure you don't accidentally get rid of something important. Like, let's say, a hookshot or something. Because, oh yes, you can make hookshots. Very awesome indeed. Come on, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right then. Um, doom, 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 doom. I'm just being an idiot right now. Come on, die you! There we go. Got some more money and whatnot, so that's very nice. Um. See, I don't know what to do right now or what I want to do what I should say. Am I out of stone blocks? Did I actually use up all my stone blocks? Oh man, that's funny. Not gonna lie, that's pretty funny. Um, I guess I finished it up with that one. 
That means I have to go mine some more. Yay. Actually, it's getting kind of late. Um, you know what? I will end the video here. Um, I hope you guys like the side let's play I'm going to be starting just for the fun of it because I've been kind of getting bored of just going back from... Well, actually, no, I'm getting bored of actually having a set of videos to upload, but I want to upload more. And as much as I like the SOs and the quick plays, um, I want to do more than just that. So, anyway, yeah, uh, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out. Dum-dum-dum-dum.